with your average fucking podcast. Roll another blunt and I'ma smoke another Pack another bowl and I'ma smoke another Roll another blunt and I'ma smoke another Pack another bowl and I'ma smoke another Roll it, roll it, smoke it, smoke it, pack it, pack it, roll it, smoke it. Chill, uh huh. It's the boy. It's the boy to the front. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Let's go. And you know the four twenty. Hey, uh huh. Hey, let's go. 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 let us go 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 let us
Back when we had time, yeah, you feel me? I ain't going to hold you, man. Who would win to me? I'll be honest with you, Austin. Austin, <laughs> Austin is going to win. It's easy because Goldberg never went over five minutes, bro. Everybody like your L's in the air again. This is 420. Happy fucking 420 to Definitely, everybody. Man. You dig it, stay it out here. Here's a fun fact for y'all out here. Dirty Hill fun fact. Today was a day uh, Bill Goldberg won his first WCW uni- uh, championship. It was a United oh, States. Wasn't it? Yeah, it was the United States championship. But hey, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? He won the United States championship with WCW. Here's another dirty fun fact for y'all because I'm about to get it in right now. Today is the anniversary of the late great Ravishing Rick Rude, man. Oh, wow. That's you crazy. Feel me? crazy. Yeah. The, Rick Rude, the rapper, she wanted to die in 420. He's like, damn, man, how high can you get, brother? No, 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 no don't get me wrong. I, w- I wouldn't mind. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a good day for me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me go. Play me these gardens. Okay, man, let me know how y'all felt about that. If y'all would like to see Austin the Goldberg go ahead. I, I, did, don't, I don't want to see it. You don't want to see it, man? I never wanted to see it. Nah, I, never, right, I don't right, want to, like I said, I've never understood people that wanted to see that match. Okay. For me, just two different worlds. Okay, kind of match. I, 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 I think it was the more the WCW versus WWF thing. People okay. wanted to see it. That's, that's what it was. Again, the Monday Night Wars are still going on and stuff like that. Again, they have crossed paths on the Tonight Show back in the day. So you feel me? Okay, like, okay. It, it never happened. Wait, we have some questions. Yeah, so we, talk about it. Was it ever possible? Uh, could, this, could this have ever happened? Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. Remember WrestleMania 20 was the whole Brock Lesnar, Goldberg. Austin was the referee shit. But Austin man, was supposed to fight Brock Lesnar. Uh, Austin could, yeah. That, hold on, we're going to get that's on the list, bro. We're going to get into that, man. Definitely, again, let us know in the comments down below what's your, what's your dream match of all time. Again, we're available on Spotify, YouTube, Pro Wrestling Tees, Twitter, all that. Get into the, uh, get, get out of this all. Just hashtag Dirty Hills. All right, let's get into this number two. Two? Two! Are you ready for this, man? We got it. And uh, while you sitting here, brother, please think of a dream match, man. I already told you mine. Ah, we're going to get to that, man. You're going to put yours in honorable mentions. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Big Show got him, a, got him a match? Yeah, uh, listen, man. His shit sucked, though. We're going we to talk uh, about uh, it anyway, uh, man. Uh, uh, All right, here's number two. Harley Race and Triple H. Yo, yo. Can I get a hand clap for that, man? I, I, I want to give you a walk for it. Why? Harley Race and Triple H? Not, okay. Harley uh, Race, okay. Harley Race, not many people know. Yes, Triple H was trained by Killer Kowalski and shit. See, I'll give you the time. Hey, time NWA champion, That's 10 pounds of gold, uh, man. Harley Race, first NWA champion or some shit like that? Not the first, he's not the first, man, but he's eight time NWA 10 pounds of gold champion, man. You feel me? Not many, again. I mean, I like, why? Can I get into it, right? Please, please, man. I don't understand. Not, not only uh, Killer Kowalski trained Triple Wings, Killer Kowalski was one of Harley Race's greatest rivals back in the day. You feel me? Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm beyond with you. Triple H wrestles, wrestles just like Killer Kowalski from the high knee that he does. You feel me? To the ground pound, the submission, and all of that. Just that attitude. I'm the king. I'm the best man. I would have not mind seeing Harley Race and Triple H go at it, bro. All right. See, I mean, I, I've never I, seen. For me, I've never seen the black and white. I, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a technical guy. I'm a submissionist. You feel me? You call me perfectionist when it comes down to it in the ring and all that. But I want to see guys go hole for hole, counter for counter. You feel me? Uh, uh, of course, somebody has to get punched in their mouth, which Triple H wouldn't mind punching Harley Race in their mouth. Harley and Race would lose. Anyway, Harley Race wouldn't mind punching Triple Waits in the face. But again, man, that's one of the dream matches I would have not mind seeing. Harley Race versus Triple Waits, man. I think Harley Race would lose. Sorry. What do you know? Because you don't know nothing about all these ricks, man. I don't. I don't. That's the king, but man. I know shit about Triple H. Ah, uh, whatever, man. And I know Triple H whips ass. All right, all right. Plus, cool. plus, plus, they don't have the moves they have now. I mean, again, bro, it doesn't matter. Are we talking, are we talking in their primes? All right. All these ricks in his primes, Triple H in his primes. Yes. Yes. All right, we're going to go Hunter Hearst Helmsley, Triple H. Then I got to go Harley Race then. Uh, now this. Now because you're jacking Harley Race now. No, you have to. Because you got to think. Statistics say uh, Triple um, Triple H as Hunter Hearst Helmsley, uh-huh. but he didn't have a lot of uh, uh, he had a lot of push, but he didn't have a lot of. Remember, he was a king of the ring, also former king of the ring, also. So, like okay. I said, man, all right, that's all right. something I would have not mind seeing. You feel me? What What was that number two, number two? Number two. Let's get into number three real quick, and I'm three. About, I'm about to kick your ass with this one, man. Kick your ass. Yeah, I'm about to kick your ass with this one, man. This is a uh, generations collide right here. Yes, we had Hogan and The Rock. You feel me? But well, what about Hogan and John Cena? 
Come on, man. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. Come on, Mr. man. America versus Mr. America. Come on, man. The greatest wrestler versus the greatest wrestler. For, not to mention who's the biggest seller or who's the biggest draw in wrestling. Yes, you got Hogan who inspired the generation. Also, you got Cena, a Cena that inspired the generation, man. Who would you like? Come on, Cena and Hogan. I would have. I'll, I'll be to be honest. I mean, yeah, bro. I think it would end up being a good match because Hogan does sell good. Yeah, but, not, but not. This this would be the problem of the match, y'all. I'm gonna be honest with you. Cena want, doesn't want to lose. Hogan wouldn't want to lose, so that would be the biggest problem yeah. of the match. Because both Hogan. of them wouldn't want to lose. Yeah, bro. you feel me? That's probably why that match. Pro that match probably could have happened. Mm -hmm. That's probably one of those mm -hmm. could have happened matches. And they probably mm -hmm. had stipulations like, nah, I don't want to lose. Look, y'all, let us know in the comments down below uh, how y'all feel about Hogan and Cena, man. Again, that would have been dope. You feel me? That I, I, I ain't gonna lie, you could possibly see that later on in the future. Hogan nah. versus out. You, with nah. the WWE, you never know, man. Nah. You never know, man. Hogan, Hogan ain't wrestling, bro. It's over. Nigga, Hogan ain't wrestling? Nah. Too many back surgeries, you feel so, me? So, nah, so, I'm so, saying? That, that, that bass guitar. That bass guitar, man. Dude. It's over. But again, man, Hogan and Cena, man. That would have been dope. That was number three. You feel me? Are you All ready right. for number four, man? Four. Are you ready for number four, man? Got you. Are you ready for number four? Let me know in the comments four. down below if you're ready for number four, man. Eddie Guerrero uh -huh. versus Shawn Michaels. I was going to say that. Mm -hmm. I was going to say mm -hmm. that. Uh, I'll be honest. Now it was plans for it to go down. Uh, a lot of the wrestling, uh, wrestling world, universe community know about it. You feel me? It was plans for it to go down, but unfortunately, Eddie had passed away. You know what I'm saying? Wow, so that's yeah, crazy. it never happened, bro. Unfortunately, in the first that day, would have been top five greatest matches ever, probably. You know what I'm saying? And you know what's crazy? They ended up having Kurt Angle versus Shawn Michaels after the Eddie. Yeah, how good was that match? Oh man, is that, is that WrestleMania, man? How good is uh, Kurt Angle? Everybody know how good Kurt. Well, <sighs> he's he was. We all know how good he and uh, Kurt Angle was, man. Could he? Could he do it? Eh, feel right, me? Eddie Guerrero or Shawn Michaels? Who do you have? Who you have winning? Who I have winning? I'm be honest with you, man. I'm going. Show, I'm going Eddie Mike. Uh, 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 Eddie, Eddie Guerrero because he's cheating. Me too. He's cheating, bro. He saw his cheats too, though, man. Mm -hmm. who, would, who would be a face? Eddie. Eddie would be the face, and Shawn Michaels would be tight. He'll be the the heel because he's tight. He'll okay. be tight that Eddie Guerrero. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? But the, that's not even true. Eddie Guerrero plays the role, but he plays the, the Eddie role. Eddie Guerrero doesn't matter. He'll be mm -hmm. number four. Y'all ready for number four, man? Let us go to the comments down below. Batista versus Brock Lesnar. Uh, yeah, it, I don't it, know, man. Like. I don't know. And it's crazy because they were in a company at the same time, at a couple of times. You know what I'm saying? It just they never crossed paths. What would you? What would you? Would you have rather seen that match, Batista versus Brock Lesnar, man? Honestly, <sighs> nah, I don't. I don't think I would have. I'll be honest, bro. I don't know. I don't know. I I think those would have been one of those matches I'd like. Uh, I'd, I'd have been cool with. I don't think it would have been a classic or nothing, man. I don't think it would. Nah, I mean, that match could still really happen right nah, now. Nah, 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 I dig it. No, I, I, def but I definitely dig me, it, man. I'm not a fan of big guys wrestling. Nah, I... <laughs> I like big guys wrestling. What about the big guys of today now? The big guys from today. Yeah, they're faster. Yeah. They're faster than more agile. Like, those two, it wouldn't be... It would be like a pound and ground type of, type of match. Okay. Probably. I'm trying, or or it'll be a, I'm yeah. trying to lift you, you trying to lift me yeah. the whole match, yeah. and then yeah. finally someone yeah. lift someone. And, well, I don't know. That's not. It wouldn't be bad either because they both have MMA background experience. That is true. Oh, that is that true. Is true. So that, if, you again. Wanna, if you want to eliminate the wrestling and get them into a real brawl, they should have, have them. Have them. They should have done that. That probably did mad sales for like boost up wrestling. Mm -hmm. so two wrestlers in an MMA mm -hmm. and just fighting each other mm -hmm. would have been like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If only Danny Brooke could have booked it. I'm dead. Let us know in the comments down below how y'all felt about done. that. Worked, <laughs> what, what, uh, what number was that? Make sure we'll get it done. That was four? It's four. That was four. Uh, number five, man. Number five. And this, and this is real. This is real, y'all. Austin versus CM Punk. Mm, not bad. Austin versus CM Punk. I need to clap on that one. Yeah. Clap for yeah. Mouthpiece versus mouthpiece. Man. Mouthpiece versus mouthpiece. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, the, the GTS 
is fire. The stunner uh -huh. is fire. Uh, they yeah. both hate their boss. They both fire on the mic. You feel me? It wouldn't matter, man. Who, I ain't, who's the face? Austin. Austin. Yeah. Austin, Austin can't be a hill. Yeah. No yeah. What. No matter what he do, man. Uh, he, he can't be a hill. So I'm going with Austin, man, all the way. Would I have not mind seeing Punk, seeing CM Punk win? Yeah. Nah. Cause the feud is gonna go on. Yeah. It would keep it. Plus, plus, it would look good for for CM Punk mm -hmm. later on in the future. Mm -hmm. Like, yo, I beat Austin. Da da da. Mm -hmm. It would it would be dope. Yeah. If he would still been there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Would have stayed a, a lot longer, but you know how that went. Nah, I dig it, man. Let us know in the comments down below how y'all felt about this, man. Number five. Are y'all ready, man? And this is my. <laughs> this is this is me all the way, baby. Bret Hart versus Kurt Angle. Mm. Ooh, y'all not fucking. I'm surprised that never happened, bro. Bro, well, Prince man, oh, duh. Yeah, my bad. And by the time, not to be funny with you, Kurt Angle, Kurt Angle was in the Olympics. By the time uh, 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 Brett was in the WWE, and by the time he was in WCW, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Brett career was over already. By the time Angle got cracking, you know what I'm saying? Would you pay to see that match? Hell oh, yeah. Hell yeah! It's a pretty good match. Hell yeah! yeah. Hell yeah, man! That's a lie. Bret Hart I think that match would probably go down if it ever happened. Yeah. It would go down is probably like number one. Yeah, it, could, it could possibly like be like the greatest match ever. Yeah, bro. The greatest the wrestling greatest match, match ever. ever, bro. Ever, ever. bro. Ever. ever. That ass, man. That ass, Bret. Uh, Bret versus Angle. Fire, bro. We got winning. Somebody calling me. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I don't. I, I'm, I'm going. Man, I love some Brett, man. I'm going Brett, man. Uh, it depends on stipulations. Uh, I, it depends on the storyline for me. Yeah, listen, man. Yeah, it doesn't depend on the because, stipulations. Like, it depends, it depends on who, who's who's gonna be the hill and who's gonna be the. Face. I'm be honest. With you. I, I think Brett is gonna be the hill because he's from Canada, and Kurt is gonna be the the the, the, the face because he's from America. That's how I be sometimes, bro. That's how, yeah. Oh, man. That's how I be. Yeah, yeah. Let us know down right. in the comments down below. How I mean, it's not like Brad Hart plays a bad heel, though. Mm hmm He's a pretty fat ass. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, Brad, Hart, Brad Hart's bad ass, period. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I dig it. I got to go. I'll, I'll go Brad Hart. All right. That was number five? Yeah. Let's get it in, man. Number six, man. Number fucking six, man. Brock Lesnar versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, if you watch the Ruthless Aggression era back in the day and stuff like that, you, you've seen them come head to head. You've seen uh, Brock steal Austin's uh, ATV. You didn't see yeah. him. You feel me? Uh, a stun. You didn't see Austin get F5. You didn't see Brock get stunned. Uh, you didn't see a war of words and stuff like that. But they never quite got to it, man. Who would you see actually winning that match? I got to go Brock Lesnar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got to go Brock. Mm -hmm. Especially at that time. Mm -hmm. And I look out, I'm, I'm going to go from that time. I'm going to take that storyline and go from that time. Mm -hmm. So if they would have fought around that time, I would have to say Brock Lesnar because Brock Lesnar was the up rock, uh, up and coming uh -huh. superstar that was supposed to be like this dominant mm -hmm. factor in WWE. So mm -hmm. I got to go Brock Lesnar for that. And just because, you know, Austin was putting them over mm -hmm. kind of so, a great wide way. And of course, uh, that that was the match. What, what you got to say, bro? How, how would you write it? Like would it? Would you think they would have wrote it like, hey, yeah, like right. you know, for Stone Cold to cause the damage, like he would do all the damage and the like wrestling, like like the promos and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. Brock would win the match. Mm -hmm. But Stone Cold would do the most noise. Um, do you see them happen, or you think? It'd I, be I, think I think that could have happened. I think that could have happened. Brock was not wait. Did Brock was not have Paul Heyman? No, he was by himself. And so it probably. Would have went that way. Mm -hmm. Austin, because mm -hmm. Brock Lesnar didn't really talk to the mic too much. He did, but he wasn't that good. Mm -hmm. To be honest. But mm -hmm. and so he got Paul Heyman. He wasn't really that pumped up. He had Paul Heyman before. He just dropped Paul Heyman, bro. Yeah, but he wasn't like cool. When he, he wasn't dope when he had Paul. Hey, All right, man. Bro. What was that? Number six, man. You wildin', bro. <laughs> no, man. no. But, like I said, I see. Uh, I gotta go Brock Lesnar winning, though, man. Yo, let us know where the comments down below. Again, this is 420, man. Appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. We are the Dirty Hills. Um, good brother, both, man. The DOE, Kofi Weaston. Yeah, the big smoke Thanks. over here. You got Rella on camera, man. Shout out to Frost God. You already know the vibes, man. You feel me? 
Yo, uh, what is this? Number seven? Yeah. Number seven, man. This is this is a good one for y'all, man. Shawn Michaels versus The Rock. That never happened? happened? No. You got to remember, by the time The Rock was making it up the ladder, man, <coughs> Shawn Michaels was, was already the man. He was going, already the man. He already got retired. He was, going with, he was oh, putting wow. triple weights over. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Rock, Every time The Rock and Triple H really fought, Shawn Michaels was there as referee or guest before too. So I gotta go to Rock. I gotta go to Rock. Now, I honestly, I'm going, I like Shawn, wait. I'm going with Shawn Michaels. The only reason I'm going with Shawn Michaels is with the help of Triple H. Okay. I'm going with Shawn Michaels, man. You feel me? I gotta, I, I'm gonna go to Rock because he would probably be the face. Alright. He probably make a great comeback. Okay, so I, I would have to go to Rock, man. Plus, I like the Rock. He's he's very entertaining, man. When he wrestles, man. So. All right, all right, all right. Gotta go to what rock. you going, with, man? Plus, I don't see Shawn Michaels. You going rock, to Rock? Man? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. I mean, Shawn Michaels is a great wrestler, but it's the Rock, bro. That was number eight. That was number seven, right? Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. sorry, y'all. Yeah, was seven. You already know we smoking out here. This shit. <laughs> it's the four twenty, man. This is number eight for y'all, man. This is real shit, man. And uh. I don't know. I, I be bugging, man. But here we go. Eddie Guerrero versus Alberto De Rio. Not bad. That'd have been dope, man. The pride of Mexico. I would have rather. It. I would have rather Eddie Guerrero versus Phoenix or Pentagon or somebody. Okay. Okay. Or Roosh. Okay. All right. Rather than I, 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 hey, man. I'm just. I'm not saying Alberto De Rio is bad, but there are. Uh, other guys, I probably would have made a better match. Okay. All right. All right. Number nine, man. Get ready for this, man. Rick Flair versus Cody Rhodes. Come on, man. I don't know. Come on, man. Come on, man. Rick Flair versus Cody Rhodes. Let me know. Tell me why you put it on there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going. Tell me why. Because of the style, the prestige. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm going Rick Flair because Rick Flair can really wrestle. You okay. feel me? I, I don't think Cody's right there as a wrestler. You feel me? I, he's more of an entertainer for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He does have his wrestling moves, but of course, he learned from guys like his father, Ric Flair, all of them guys. So, I'm going to be honest with you, brother. I'm going Ric Flair, man. You feel me? I think for me, I wouldn't even care one. Mm-hmm. I'll be honest, bro, because I'm not a too much of a big Ric Flair. I like Ric Flair outside of wrestling. Okay. Like, I'm not going to lie. I like him outside okay. of wrestling more than I do in wrestling. I'm not saying that wrong with it, but... Okay. Then I don't like Cody too much at all. Okay. Number so for me, that could be a dream match. That would be like a whatever match. All right. Number nine, man. I'm about to fuck the world up with this, man. Jake the Snake versus Randy Orton. Fire. Now that's a fucking dream match, nigga. Number nine. That was number nine. Now that's a dream match, bro. Randy Orton versus Jake that's, the Snake. Do so I got that? That's one of those matches. It wouldn't matter if they had titles, it wouldn't matter if the title was on the line, yeah, yeah. it wouldn't matter for nothing, bro. Because yeah. the storyline would be dope just told by the two of them. Okay. All right. Just told by the two of them alone, bro. I like that. both of them alone could tell a fucking great story. I definitely do like that. I appreciate that. I'm not going to lie. I'm going Randy Orton. But as far as getting over, I'm going Jake the Snake because Randy Orton's going to get bit by, bit by a snake. Mm. Be out with you, man. Okay. All right. All I can right. see. I can see that happening. Like you call yourself the Viper Son. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Take the uh, snake, bring out the yeah, rail. Yeah, man. I'm all, uh, yeah, I'm all dig it. Yeah, dig it. Dig it, man. All right, man. Are we gonna throw some honorable mentions? You feel me, real quick before we start, man. I got an honorable. Before we get to number ten, now I'm saying here's an honorable mention, man. Uh, Sam Punk versus Piper. Roddy Rod Fire. Piper. Fire. That would have been Fire. dope, man. Hey, right, right, Piper is so cold. Yo, and mind you, remember they had a promo where he slapped him and yeah. uh, Austin slapped him and Piper slapped him back, and the Piper said, "I like the kid." Yeah, you feel me? And I say that would have been dope right there. I'm not. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Here's another honorable mention, man. And this is crazy. I might get a little like feedback for this, but this is real wrestling shit, man. Ricky the Dragon Steve Boat versus Chris Ben Wah. Shitting me, man. Yo, you shitting me, man. Yo. Five star match. Bro, you don't know nothing. This, this is why I'm the voice. I, I know. This, this, this is why I'm the guru right here. Previously on the dark side of the ring, this nigga here, man. You, you're wildin', kid. You're wildin', bro. You're wildin', I don't wanna man. see Steamboat versus Benoit, bro. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. I like Benoit. I think he's a great wrestler, but 
I don't know, man. No, okay. I don't know. I, I just don't know. Okay. I don't know. So don't be mad at me. If, uh, nobody else will be mad at me. I just really don't know. Uh, yo, I, That's I, one of those, like, I, I'll I, be honest with you, man. And, I, and I'm, I'm breaking the fourth wall on this, man. I'm going with Chris Van Watt, man. He's going to make Steamboat top out. Mm, okay. And this is real shit, man. You feel me? Here's the number one honorable mention before we get to number one, man. Yeah. Oh, oh, we got two. I got a couple. Yeah, we got two more honorable mentions. Like I said, we got a few more. <laughs> Let us know in the comments down below if you're enjoying this, man. We appreciate y'all out there watching this, man. Uh, what we can do, what we can do together, man. Thank you, Big Smoke. Uh, thank you, Coffee Weeston. Thank you, Rel. Thank you, Frost. Uh, Don Trey Six. Shout out to everybody out there that's been a part of the Dirty Hill movement, man. Uh, we've been doing this for a year and a half and shit like that, but you know the vibes. Uh, here's another honorable mention from me, Andre the Giant. In, in in the big show, boring. He, he said that. Told you. He said that. He said boring. that. Boring. That's, you know, that's been a dream match for years. Yeah, that shit is gonna be like, I bumped you, you bumped me. <laughs> you, Look, you, my boy you, said that. He definitely he said, said like, that. This the whole match. He definitely said that. Like this the whole nah. It's gonna be boring. He definitely bro. said I that. Told, I, I'm not a fan of big guy matches, bro. It's usually boring. I'm just saying, like, like, like uh, it's when, a dream when, match. What's gonna happen? Like one's gonna pick up the other one and get cr the crowd gets crazy. Yeah. And then the other one's gonna pick up the other one now, and that gets crazy. I'm 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 gonna be honest, man. Not, we, not a fan of it. We do know who's winning, though, right? Andre the Giant? No, the Big Show's gonna knock Andre out, bro. Yo, yo, yo. He's a modern day big man, so he moves. Yeah, clear. yeah. I'm just being honest, man. I'm just being honest. I see the Big Show knocking out Andre the Giant, bro. You feel uh, me? Not a fan Do of we that. even know Andre the Giant's finishing move? No. I didn't know he had a finishing move. I right, see. <laughs> Again, man, we doing honorable mentions and shit like that. Did something know. like a leg drop or something? Yeah, leg drop. This one. Oh, he so loves leg drops. Yeah. One. Oh, uh, listen to this one. Okay. Listen to this one. Right I have here. a reason for mine still. Listen to this one right here, y'all. Ultimate Warrior versus The Rock. Dope. Dope? Yeah. That's going to be the most. Energy in the building would be fucking Thank stupid. you. know how unsafe that match will that. be? The that's energy what I in the you. building will be that's what, but First of all, Ultimate Warrior. Wait, about Ultimate that, Warrior came out on that, <clears throat> on that ring from entrance to. So whenever he got pinned or whoever he with pinned with a hundred percent energy. Yeah. Now he and ultimate he, no he and Hulk Hogan back then was like what the most entertaining people yeah. Yeah. in there. But both, um, Hulk Hogan was like American, like Captain yeah. America. Damn fucking stupid ass you know what I'm saying? So Ultimate Warrior was like yo dirt, but still like yeah, yeah like yeah. everybody oh, got pumped. Yeah. What yeah. today's most electrifying dude who's like the rock who was the only like i can't yeah. say anybody who act better than him on that on that stage but Fact. his scenes were like just entertaining so two entertaining people electrifying one's on super crack this, the other this, one's this, on look, he feeling it yeah, he feeling it he feeling it it's something happen. cooking I'm right there right it's something cooking I I had, remember macho man and, and ultimate warrior yeah. Remember how that fight was? It would have yeah. gone down something like that to me. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I, I'm not yeah. gonna lie. Right. I got one. Come on, man. It's a new age. Uh, I'm giving a new age dream match. Hurry up, man. Give you it up, man. I'm gonna go Orange Cassidy versus uh my guy. Our truth. Our truth. I mean, that it would be a funny ass match, though. What title? That's, that's be, my dream. Man. What title will be on the line? The twenty four seven title. They don't even need a title. Like, they, need a title man. like they just bump into each other. <laughs> like <laughs> you know, R two <laughs> just thought something for no reason. R Cassidy was really sleep the whole sleep time. The whole time. Uh, like yo, I, I, I just think for me that would be I super that. super entertaining. I, I did that. I, Do you I, have I, any females? Do I have any females? Well, today, I'm going to drop a little uh, fun fact again. Uh, today uh, marks the anniversary of China, the ninth wonder in the world also, man. You feel me? So, passed away? Yeah, she passed okay. away. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, I, I can't even say I want to see any dream matches with her and because she done put on a lot of dream matches in WWE her already. Versus, I would like to see her. Versus, versus Beth Phoenix. No. That would have been dope. Versus. Beth Phoenix, the Glamazon? Uh, uh, the WWE, I mean, um, NXT champion right now. Who's the NXT champion right now? Women's cha champion? Yes, the Spanish chick. Uh, uh Raquel Gonzalez? Gonzalez. Or Rhea Ripley? Yeah. I can see a fatal fall match between China, Rhea Ripley, 
uh, Beth Phoenix and Rock Rock G- yeah. Gonzalez. I wouldn't mind that. For what title though? It could be an elimination match. I said a title, man. Uh, I would. I would do it for the NXT. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the be title for me. Because takeovers would be fire. Yeah. So the takeovers, yeah, yeah, the takeovers, takeovers would be hit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't forget, well, again, uh, uh, NXT comes on uh, on Tuesdays from now on, so y'all make sure y'all mark that on. Uh, Impact Wrestling has moved from Tuesdays uh, to Wednes- uh, to Thursdays now, so y'all make sure y'all be aware, uh, to be aware is to be open. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, any more dream matches, man? Um, Rail, you got a dream match back there, bro? Shout out to Rad. You guys actually mentioned one. I think it was back. Like, uh, it was The Rock and. Uh huh. The Rock and. Damn. And the. Was it um um? Come on, I gotta go back in my notes. It was your list. It was your, it was on your list. It, it was, was on my list. Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels. That, that'd that'd been dope. They never went against each other. Man. Man. Never, never yeah. touched each other, bro. That'd have been uh-huh. dope. I'll be honest with you. I see him coming home. Um, Shawn Michaels is trying to jump off the rope in the rock action. Yo, yo, yo Shawn, yeah. I'll be honest with you. Shawn Michaels done sweet chain music to rock more than the, yo. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've seen a rock. Yeah, I, between the rock and Stone Cold, man. Remember, the rock. I, myself, is, I, I, I could watch them fight a couple times. Remember, Shawn Michaels is the reason why the rock didn't win the WWF champion on the debut, the, the debut episode of SmackDown. Smackdown. You feel me? It was him I versus feel like Triple H. Match. Him versus Triple H and Shawn Michaels like was the referee. You know what happened? They got super kicked, man. Yeah. That ass, man. You can never know about that. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, it's crazy. That ass, man. Uh, any more honorable mentions? Flex Law? You good? I'm going to just squeeze one more. I'm going to just say The Rock and John Cena. That will be they they, they went at it twice, bro. Yeah. The Rock. Yo. Let's do Rock won one, John Cena won one. Yeah. They yeah. should have yeah. went at it again. Yeah. And they had great promos. They yeah. promos. And, and then, it, then John Cena turned into The Rock. <laughs> he apologized, but I don't think well, yeah, count. He did, though. that apology don't yeah. count, man. You apologize for the yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man. I'm Those are my two favorite rock. wrestlers. Yeah, he, he turned into the rock right after yeah, that. Yeah, bro. yeah. He is the rock, then. I respect <laughs> Batista for that. You know what I'm saying? Batista didn't make it. Wasn't, known. He, wasn't he complaining that the rock was. Yeah. That like, he left and everything, and then all of a sudden. I feel like this is deja vu again. You feel yeah. me? It, then he ended up doing the same uh, yeah. movie line, uh, Marvel, DC, yeah. Hobbs and Shaw, and da da da. But we done seen it. The rock was seen at WrestleMania and stuff like that. Uh, we're going to jump into this number one. Number fucking one. And who know? I did a pretty good speech. <laughs> Ooh, no. We're going to jump into this number one. All right, and uh, many people, the wrestling community has been asking for this. Uh, we dreamed of this. And uh, for a lot of y'all don't know, I've meant, we have mentioned it on our show previously, uh, way back. The Undertaker versus Sting. Oh, come on now, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Now, for uh, for the people out there that don't know, uh, again, we mentioned it on our show. The Undertaker and Sting has fought before. Yeah. In 1991, for it was either the NWA uh, NWA Championship belt or the WCW Championship belt. That's before Taker was Taker. He was still Mean Mark, and Sting was still Sting with the whole face paint on his blade on this thing. You feel me? Mm. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people would would love pay money to see yeah, uh, Sting and uh, other people go at it. We want to see it through the Attitude Era. We want to see it through the Ruthless Aggression Era. We want to see it through the PG Era. We want to see it through the Pandemic Era. How many opportunities could it have been done, bro? Uh, every era. Since Sting left WCW, it could have been done. You feel me? Since Sting left WCW, that should have been the first thing. Again, for me, when Sting left WCW and that whole thing went down, that's when they WWE should have been like, all right, we have this, we can do this, we can do that. Nah, they didn't have to. Sting went to Impact. He's like, I'm not having that shit. He went to Impact, man. I mean, it would have been good, good luck for him. To go to me, but it, again, man. Sting didn't make his way to WWE, and he still nothing. Mind you, they was on the same card for WrestleMania. Feel me? Uh, take the four Bray Wyatt and uh, Triple H fought Sting, man. It was no reason why they couldn't have made that happen. Right? I think. I. For me, I think they didn't, they didn't want, they didn't want to tarnish the Undertaker. They didn't want to tarnish, but they tarnished the shit out of Sting. You think? God, you think? Man. You think? You think? And I'll be honest with you, man. Sting could still. I don't, I don't think they could have. I don't know. A lot of people would have loved to see that. I would even. Now, I, I don't want to see it now. You could have made a cinematic match or whatever like yeah, that. You yeah, you could have. Yeah, come on, man. There's a lot of yeah. possibilities to that match you could have done, man. 
Yeah. You feel me? All right, I went in mind. If they did a cinematic match, I went in mind. It. Mm -hmm. I'd have been all for it. I'm all just for saying, let us know in the comments down below, man. That is something that we all wanted to fucking see, man. You know what I'm man, saying? I've been all for that. All for it. That's Sing, cinematic, right? right. Uh, they, they, within the next two years, if they don't get it done cinematically, it's over. It's over. It's over, bro. It's it's not going to happen, man. But come I mean, on, but man. Sting may not undertake a uh, WWE owns Undertaker, so. Yeah, that's Vince Jr. right there. Yeah, it's so you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Uh, his inaugural, oh shit, I should have mentioned this in, uh, in the beginning, but uh, and, and I don't know who mentions this, but I'm going to just throw it out there anyway. The Rock versus Roman Reigns. That's possibly going to happen in the next two years. Next two years? Possibly. Okay. I'll give that like a big 70% possibility that could happen. Okay, now I'm about to be mad stupid now. Cactus Jack, do love Mick Foley, Mankind in a fatal four away match. Who would win? That's a dream match right there. That is. That, 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 that's a dream match. That's a dream I'm match. I'm going to go Mick Foley. All right. All right. Cool. I'm going to go Mick Foley. All right. I mean, it's nothing like beating your own ass. At church. Again, everybody, that was us discussing uh, our, our top 10 dream matches. Hopefully, we uh, please y'all, man. We, uh, you know, we, we aim to please sometimes. Again, if you don't want to see us, we're available on Spot, uh, Spotify, Apple Music. Uh, you, you can tweet it as you can't tweet me. Uh, remember <laughs> I told you, Dave? Uh, we're going to jump into some Hill Talk, man. Of course, man. to give the people what they want. I man, uh, over the weekend. This is why second last, man. This is why you can't give anybody buttons. You feel me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dummy? Yeah, yeah you gonna get yourself a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, everybody. Of course, over the weekend we went over to uh, GSW uh, Pro. Uh, we witnessed uh, the tapings of High Voltage, which was dope. Again, they will be having a show uh, May twenty second and stuff like that. Uh, Richfield, yeah. Richfield Park and stuff like that. So y'all tune in. Uh, we had an amazing time, man. Fire. Shout out to Dante, shout out to Brent, uh, Brent and Ascara, shout out to the whole family, man. Yeah. It was shout out to the Meadowland Monster, man. Uh, shout out to everybody. Shout out, I, I can't remember no names because it was so, we was in the front, man, just right yeah, there. Yeah, the kid that was with us? Paul oh, Cameron. shout out to this guy here. Shout out to King's Road Wrestling Yo, Podcast. Yo, we you let me tell you, man. Let me tell you, man. Big shout out to him. Yo, man. big shout out to him. He was like, hey, Dirty Hills. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <hell. I'm> <laughs> Again, it was good to be uh to be back at a wrestling event, man. Yeah. So next events we'll be at. Uh, next event, uh, we'll, again, we'll try to be at uh, GSW again, uh, 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 May, 22nd. May 22nd, Battle Club Pros, shout out to Joaquin Morales and the whole squad, they will be doing another event, uh, uh, it's called, uh, uh, damn, May, May, May Rain or the Ray Main or something like that, but I call it the fucking return, but they will also be at Richfield Park in New Jersey on the 29th, they're doing two shows in one day, man, so please, Get your tickets or follow these two great promotions, man. Independent wrestling is fucking back. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, man. First off, you see, uh, they let seventy percent of the people in the Madison Square Garden now. Let's go. Seventy percent. Can we get the ball playing now, damn it? Can we? Nah, they got you got the ball playing already. Seventy percent. Well, for wrestling though. Oh, wrestling. Right. That's well, I, I, I know what it is. Uh, can it's we still get travel? Wrestling? It's still travel. It's still travel. Like only New Yorkers can go to ball playing. Nah, the thing, is, the thing is, um, you know, it's travel, bro. You know, nobody wants to travel. Okay. They have to spend the three days on quarantine and then uh, a whole bunch of BS. All right. Well, again, thanks for having us. GSW Pro, we love you. Battle Club Pro, we love you. Uh, here's another uh, one for y'all. MOW has now signed the deal with Vice TV. Mm. This, this spring, they will be on Vice TV. Speaking of, uh, speaking of Vice TV, Dark Side of the Ring uh, Season 3 will be coming out in May, May 9th or May 29th or May something. I know it's May something, but please, y'all go, y'all check out Vice TV, man. It's getting there. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody out there, man. Again, here's another one for y'all, man. Uh, ROH, man. Uh, they just had their 500 episode, man. It was dope. You had uh, John Grisham versus Jay Lee Duke. That was crap, man. Only 500 episodes? Yeah. Damn. That's damn way more. Not everybody's always on TV, man. You know what I mean? So it's 500 That's episodes like when, on uh, TV? That, that, yeah. Or like 500 episodes, period. Uh, I don't know. Uh, no, yeah. I think, I think it's period, man. Wow. Well, listen, man. Don't, uh, but again, ROH, 
Y'all go check that out. Shout out to them. The Briscoe 47. Shout out to the Briscoes. I love them, man. Shout out to my boy. Huh? One Jay. Right. You know Jay winning. You feel me? Uh, shout out to my boy C Notes. You already know. I love you, kid. You already know. Uh, Rebellion. April 26th, Rich Swan versus uh, Kenny Omega for the unification of the belt, man. Kenny Omega. You saying Kenny Omega winning? For the unification? I think the the, uh, the Rich Swan belts is on the line. Both of his belts are on the line. It's, it's big yeah. out there, man. Ooh. It's big, bro. Go Kenny. You going Kenny? Yeah, because I don't see Rich Swan getting the AEW title. Okay. All right, All right. cool. I mean, I, I, I'm not mad if he does. I'll, I'll be extra happy. Okay. That would be dope. Um, I know we uh spoke about this before. Again, big shout out to Jabba Tears, man. Shout out to Sir Wilkins for coming through, blessing us with his presence. Again, the Henny was awesome. Thank you, brother. We love you. Uh, we must do again and stuff like that. You feel me? Uh, we talked about Black Thursday. Feel uh -huh. me? Uh, not too long ago, a couple of employees got released. Some old Joe, Chelsea Green, uh, others, Kalisto, uh, mad other people, man. Hopefully, these guys uh, find um, way, uh, find the proper way to go, find jobs and shit like that, so they could be all right, man. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? That's just a little wild. Uh, I don't really want to talk about the whole Bobby Lashley, Drew McIntyre shit. I don't really, you know, give give two shits. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? Bro wasn't excited. Bro was not excited. You feel me? Bro wasn't excited. Uh, we do we do have a shocker that happened. Matt Riddle pinned Randy Orton. Oh, that was a pretty dope match. Okay. Pretty dope match. Roll up pin, of course. Uh, where, where do you see this beef going with Riddle and Randy Orton? I'm not sure. All right. I don't know. I don't know. Like I, I said, Bro didn't excite me at all, so it was one of those okay. things that I watched but didn't really watch. Okay. All right. All right. We got like two more things. Um, coming before we end this shit for real, we got the New Japan Cup, New New Japan Cup, tw uh, 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 New Japan USA Cup, New Cup, New Japan Cup, USA Twenty One. I know, man, that's crazy. Twenty Twenty One Finals. We got uh, Brody King versus Tom Lawler, man. Who you see winning, man? Tom Lawler. Tom Lawler. Yeah. Tom Lawler. You're filthy man. I ain't gonna hold you, man. Yeah, he's a, he's a dirty hill. Definitely man. filthy. Uh, any AEW talk, man? You want to AEW real quick? I've watched it. You haven't watched it? <laughs> Nigga's stupid. But uh, again, everybody, man, we the Dirty Hills. We appreciate you, Big Smoke. Uh, we got cannabis on deck, man. Smoke already as, know, man. Yeah, smoke as much bud as you can. You already know the vibes, man. Uh, if you don't get high, we will get high for you, man. Dig yeah, fan? Definitely. Uh, uh, any shout outs, bro, before we end this bitch, man? Uh, no. Nah. Shout out to his incarcerated baby mama still. Yo, dogs. Shout out to my incarcerated baby moms. I'm not gonna hold you. I ain't, I ain't see you in a little minute. I ain't write you, but just know I hate you. Hate you, too. you feel me, y'all? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like she never gave birth, but she's still locked up. Yeah. <laughs> But love is love. Shout out to the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, man. Shout out to our cousins. Podcasters. Podcasters. Oh shit, my bad. Oh wait, 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 wait. Let's get up. Let's shout out Jeremy fucking Prophet, man. Oh, you feel me, Jeremy Prophet. Jeremy, shout out to our boy Jeremy of Prophet, the harbinger of truth, man. The uh, the best unsigned Canadian wrestler, man. Please, yo, show him love. Yeah. Please, uh, the Jericho Award, he has gotten that award or he's a recipient of that award. One of this is, but shout out to you, Jeremy Prophet. We love you, man. Hey, all we do is get high, man. Oh, first is real quick. Red Man and Left Man will be going at it. So, yeah, make sure y'all go check that out, man. You feel me? Woo! Uh, and this is another da, da, episode. Da, 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 da. And this your boy, Kenneth Stones. Uh -huh. AJ Kofi Weasley. I am your boy, the Dirty Hills. I mean, he's still out from last episode. But if you have the DOE, good brother, bold man, big smoke, brown, uh, uh, the child, the cannabis says hello, we say hello, we say good night, bang. Sturdy heels approved. <laughs>